and welcome to No Limits Paint, Insider Secrets to Incredible Walls. We're going to start today uh, with uh, Faux Impressions, Quartz Stone Smooth Finish. First, I'd like to show you with any good paint job, you want to kind of defuzz your roller, doing that on some blue tape. So we've got the roller defuzz. Again, we're doing Faux Impressions Quartz Stone Smooth Finish. So I've already got the wall prepared with the quartz stone base coat. It's a, a tinted aggregate primer. And in this case, uh, I've taped everything off, prepped the wall, and primed it with the quartz stone base coat. It's uh, tinted to well-bred brown. Now I'm gonna switch, uh, this is the quartz stone itself in the gold base, tinted to well-bred brown. Uh, it's kind of a thick, fluffy, almost a mousse-like product. No point in putting a brush in this product at all. So we're using a half inch nap microfiber mini roller for the corners. So basically I'm gonna bang it up into the ceiling line, which has been taped off, into the corners also. Put it on a nice even coat. Notice that the, uh, the primer is given a suggestion of the color and the grit. The reason for the grit, you'll see when this product is back troweled, it moves very fast. So having that little little extra grit in the primer, in the quartz stone base coat, really helps, helps the installation. So as I get away from the corners, I'm gonna switch from this microfiber mini roller to a nine inch Colossus roller. That's the blue and white stripe roller. Notice as I'm rolling this that I'm doing random curving motions. And if you'd like to see more on this technique, you can go to www.swfo.com. You can get about 300 square feet per gallon on the base coat and 150 to 200 square feet per gallon on the top coat. So right now I'm doing this random curving motion, applying the quartz stone in the gold base. I'm going to switch back over to a mini, finish up getting into the corners and into the chair rail. Switch back to the 9 inch sleeve. Now you could have somebody rolling ahead of you, just rolling straight up and down. Please do tape everything off because this product does tend to spray. See, I'm getting it all over my arm here. So make sure everything is protected. So you could have a, someone rolling straight up and down in front of you and then come behind them and do these random curving X's. The reason for the random curving X's, it'll help give you a nice organic pattern when you back trowel. It also gives you a nice jagged edge as you work across the wall and down the wall. You can work about 15 minutes ahead of yourself if you're working alone. If you have somebody rolling in front of you, you wouldn't want them to get further than about 15 minutes ahead of you in the room. All right, I'm going to switch using our, I've marked this top now. Um, it's got a little bend to it. This is our 10 inch rounded edge trowel. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to frost the cake in same idea in random curving motions. Staying within my shoulder reach and blending with these random curving directions. Looking for an imperfect smooth finish. So it's this staying within the shoulders and it's this type of motion. Take your rounded edge trowel we're not scraping, we're just floating. Nice and soft, floating, kind of like frosting a cake. 